I just gotta remember how to share this. You know, my brain is on the other Oh. Got it. All right, all right. We are live. This is the HO Perspective Talk Show every Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, some Fridays as well. My name is David, aka Kimba, aka Christian. Bingy Soup is our special assignment tonight. He'll be back with us next week. Uh, every Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, 8 p.m. until uh, we're on we're on Twitter. Hit us up at VI Perspective. Uh, most importantly, go to our uh, It's Your Perspective Talk Show Facebook page. Check us out there as well. Uh, but most importantly, too, also listen to uh, streaming live from the VI.com radio. Check it out on TuneIn or go to that website and click on the tab that says Live Radio. Nothing but the very best of VI music every day. We play the most VI music every hour for sure. So we do have some special guests on the Zoom tonight. Uh, we got a we got a full house uh, tonight. Uh, we have Alex Simon. Did I did I get get that right? Oh, absolutely yes. And then we have Aquanette. Yes. She's there, and then uh, we have Elizabeth uh, Sobers. Yes, I'm here. Okay, and I guess you guys are part of the uh, Cruise and Dance Company. Is that right. is that a fair assessment? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, um, what's what's going on with you guys? Uh, what's what's happening with you, Alex? I, I've had an opportunity to meet you in the past uh, when you when you were at the spot down the road there. Um, and I guess you, I guess you're branching out, making making it bigger, and, and into, into some other stuff. Absolutely, yeah. We we've been doing a lot. Um, been through, of course, you know, like a hiatus. Um, of course, you know, like I brought on the the president of the board, of our executive board of directors, who is Elizabeth Sober, who okay. happens also my sister. And okay. Then, and then our media and communications director, um, Clark Gunn, um, who handles you know pretty much everything. With, when it comes to media and communications, along with Kanuma Simmons, who isn't here um, today, but she is absolutely amazing. I have a really, really amazing team. Okay, okay. Um, so give us a little history of the, of the Cruise and Dance uh, Company, because um, it was several years ago uh, when, I, when I first got exposed to it a little bit. Uh, but, you know, what was your vision? Uh, I mean, obviously you're, I guess, a trained um, dancer. And so how, how did that all come about? Well, I started uh, dancing at the age of 13 and it kind of, you know, like ventured off where I took it from, you know, dancing in St. Croix in particularly, and then moving away to college in Philadelphia at the University of the Arts. I was then scouted by Roni Koresh, who um, is the founder and artistic director of Koresh Dance Company in Philadelphia. We had an opportunity to actually come down um, to the Reichold Center in St. Thomas in 2003. Actually, I think it was May of 2003, if I recall, because it's been so long ago, okay. and had such an amazing experience, you know, performing and, and sharing the craft of dance with everyone in the Virgin Islands. Um, after that, we had a master class that was open to everyone in the region. I had such a tremendous support that came from St. Croix and St. Thomas to take class, you know, take this master class. They actually said it was the biggest master class that they've ever had from a performing dance company that came to the Reichold Center. So, I, you know, like I saw the interest in that and I was kind of, I didn't really know the direction of where I needed to go. Um, okay. And my sister, who is the uh, um, president of the board of directors along with her husband, 
you know, were so moved by the in, inspiration of dance that they said, Alex, you know, you should probably come back, you know, and teach a workshop. And I, I didn't know what I was doing because this is my, my first time ever doing something like that. Okay. And I was struggling, you know, like with the name of, okay, well, what will I call it? You know, Alex E. Simon Summer Intensive, Alex E. Simon Company. Um, and my sister and her husband actually came up with the name Cousin Dance Company. Okay. Okay. And All right, started, perfect. You know, there and it just, you know, like it just ran star. Okay. Really expected. And I, I know back in the days too, you know, you, you would have, uh, you know, the, the, the lessons and the training all, all year and then you have this big show right. at, at some at some point. I mean, how, how is it putting on those shows? I've had an, I had an opportunity to catch a, a few of them and, you know, they, they were always very interesting and I always, I always saw you as just a, a professional dancer and just tried to distill, uh, bestow upon these young ones, you know, if you work hard, you can, I guess in a sense, be great too, you know? Absolutely. Absolutely. Well, I, I mean, I, I would, because I'm a different person, I, you know, like I wear so many hats, uh, you know, when I'm, when I'm teaching, when I'm being the artistic director, I can, I can give the floor to either the president, um, <laughs> the Sobers or Aquanet, they can tell you the behind the scenes. Okay. <laughs> on a walkie-talkie, so either I'm on the, the, you know, the radio and I'm saying, you know, do you copy over, out, and then I'm going it's to change. I'll tell you what. Yeah, they'll give you the story. <laughs> <laughs> so you, you, you guys were all together ba back in the early days, Alex? Yes. Okay. Okay. Okay, good. It's, good. Definitely, it's definitely a process. So the nights, the Saturday and Sunday nights when we do put on the show, um, Thursday, from I'll say from Thursday to Saturday, Mm -hmm. is well, actually, yeah, 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 usually we start Mondays, yeah. like for Tech Week. Okay. It's a lot of work. It's a lot of work. It's a, it's, a, it's a process. And Alex takes down his, you know, calm suit and he puts on a different. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it, it, it's interesting. I, I know Aquanet has had the pleasure of working with me for you know, a couple shows, including I think it was one of the Miss Urban Teen shows that we did at Complex, I think, was it Aquanet? Correct, yes. Yeah, so it's it's definitely a process from beginning to end and it, it definitely doesn't start just the night of the show. Um, it starts from weeks in advance, months in advance of planning and practicing with the girls and, and, and dancers and stuff. To the night of production, it's, you know, sometimes, you know, that, that saying where if it go if it can go wrong it does go wrong but mm -hmm. you know you just do what you have to do make sure you keep the girls on schedule on point keep them focused and then just put on a good show okay okay so i if i could ask so you you, you were there at the spot in, 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 over there by um and christian said there and uh, and then i guess at one point the place closed and i guess you you, you stayed or went away or whatever but in that in that period of time there were you were you still dancing or were you doing anything like that or you just kind of put that aside and just kind of maybe working on the business part of it it, it was i guess you know like a i would say a combination of both you know like okay. after we left my mall we did of course you know move to castle coakley and we where actually the aqua lounge is right? yes so for that that's where we you know we focus on building the brand new studio and it, it was a, a huge process it took literally about a year trying to get everything you know together uh, unfortunately, when Ho the Hovenza Refinery, uh, you know, closed their doors, it affected so many other businesses, including ours, and we had to, you know, close our doors. And we went on a hiatus. And we did not, of course, you know, officially close Fusion Dance. We just needed to recollect to see exactly what we were going to do in the future. Um, it's been seven years, to tell you the honest truth. I didn't even think that time flew by. Since, so since it's been closed? Yeah, since, wow, yeah, that's seven the, wow. Wow. Yeah, it's been since April of 2013. Okay, okay, which is around the time when the refinery closed, yeah. Uh -huh. Exactly, exactly. So, you know, like, I, I've done stuff, you know, in the States still representing, you know, the name Cousin Dance Company, um, but the primary focus was really learning the aspect of the business administration side of it. Okay. Um, because that I wasn't, you know, honestly very versed on. I, you know, I, I'm an artist, so mm -hmm. that is what I trained in. So I worked with, you know, different companies um, with the company that I'm working like right now. And then prior to that, I was working with AT&T, 
Um, I was actually a certified trainer that I used to travel, train, um, uh, you know, and open call centers to train representatives of how to provide customers with an extraordinary um, service in sales, mm -hmm. but also customer service in general. Mm -hmm. um, so I traveled, you know, throughout the U.S. I went to Mexico, opened up call centers. I got like a really great understanding of what the business administration side um, was, which everything, you know, came about. And then I got a call one time from my vice president, um, Elaine Pinky Schuster, who's the owner of Schuster's Crematorium. And she mm -hmm. was, the, she started the fire. She ignited the fire and me to come back. And then, um, you know. So, so, I mean, what did she say to you? It, you know what, to tell you the honest truth, like she sent me, all, she didn't say anything. She sent me a video of um, Alvin Ailey performing um, Revolution. Okay. And, sent me that on Facebook Messenger and that literally, it like got so much, I got so emotional because I missed it, I missed mm -hmm. it so much. One of my main passions was that I loved um, sharing my knowledge with, with the youth, with the kids. Um, I just love to see their progression of growth and say, you know, I was, I put my stamp on that. You know, that dancer is now elevated to such a level, even if it wasn't with just dance, but in other forms of, you know, whether it's the performing arts and their education, I was just, so happy to be a part of that. Okay. So it, that that little video just sparked so much into us reigniting everything. And like I said, we have this motto where we're coming back, you know, bigger, bolder, and better than before. And I truly believe that. Okay. So around what time? What I guess what year did you decide uh, when she had this conversation with you? Oh no, she sent you the I guess the video of of this production. I mean, was that just a couple of years ago, maybe, or how, how far back was that? It was actually a May of, of this year. Oh, really? Okay. So that was pretty new. Okay. <laughs> yeah, very new. You okay. know, we were doing everything like with COVID and, and we're trying to figure out, okay, well, how are we going to put this stuff together? Especially that we haven't, you've been gone for so long. We don't have a, a, a space mm -hmm. um, to, so we started, okay, well, if we're going to do this, we're going to need to raise funds, you know, for the building so we can renovate a space specifically dedicated for the youth and the community of the Virgin Islands so they can take classes, you know, once again. Mm -hmm. um, so we started we started that process and it just, you know, just transcended. I, I've had classes with some of the um, former company dancers from Cushion Dance Company, you know, Zoom, like what we're doing like right now. Okay. So <laughs> yeah, that platform has really come in handy. I can tell you that much, David. Yeah. Okay, good. So um, as I as I continue okay. my notes here, I think I guess uh, I guess between May of this year and now, I guess you've had you've had a couple of events, right? Right. If I if I kind of got gathered that correctly on, on 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 Facebook, that you had the Dance Express Boot Camp. Oh no, that that's coming in for when we actually open um, up the studio. That's a summer intensive. That hasn't happened yet. Okay. Okay. And then I think you had a uh, um, auditions. I guess you had an event called Auditions. Yeah, well, it's just auditioning for, you know, for both companies. We have Cruise and Dance Movement, which is a junior company. That is from ages from 10 to 17. And then we have the main company, which is Cruise and Dance Company from 18 and up. Okay. Um, so we did have auditions, but we're, we're going to talk about, I guess, like later as far as like me coming down, because I'm, I'm actually coming back home in, in less than, Aquanet, is it less than a week? Just about, yeah, a little over a week. Yeah, just a little bit over a week. Okay, okay. And some master classes um, and so forth. But we did have an event. We kicked off our season with Fantasy Flair, which was a Halloween makeup competition because not only am you know I'm a dancer, choreographer, instructor, I'm also a professional makeup artist. Okay. okay. That is a platform that we have a program. You know that sub. That it's, it's a subsidy program of Cushion Dance Company because we have so many available yeah. right now. What, what, one of the things I wanted to say, Alex, I saw this on your on on your website. I mean, on your Facebook page here. So you're a choreographer, a dancer, an instructor, an actor, a producer, a stylist, a makeup artist, a fashion designer, event uh, set designer, photographer, graphic designer, modeling instructor, grant writer, uh, uh, environmentalist, and a humanitarian. So when I read, I said, "Damn, this brother's doing a lot. He's like he's like a Jamaican dude. He's, he's got all the jobs." <laughs> all right, this, this is this is a pretty extensive list here, man. Wow. So you're yeah. really trying to just get your brand in line and just push it forward to the world, eh? Yeah, you know, like it's it's. There's just so many things that we have always discussed. You know, um, I've always had those conversations a lot with my my 
president of the board of directors, Elizabeth Sobers. And we're just not committed just to dance and the performing arts. We're just involved so much within the community itself. Okay. Because our brand is always, you know, pushing it forward. Um, our slogan for Cruise and Dance Company is the Virgin Islands Pulse of Movement. Okay. Um, we are that, you know, we are that pulse. You know, we're coming back as that pulse. Not just to say we're going to address things when it comes to the education of dance or the performing arts, but we want to be very much involved um, within the community. You know, we talk about environmentalism. Um, I, I am just such a huge advocate about that. You know, anything that has green energy, technology, I am such a little nerd when it comes to that. Um, so we, we push that forward. My sister is also involved, um, you know, with mental health. Um, advocacy. I'll give her the floor a little bit so she can even talk to about what she does in in Florida and how we're actually going to bring some of that and tie it into the Virgin Islands community. Okay, yeah, Elizabeth, let's kind of, yeah, kind of link this all together here. Oh. Elizabeth? So, Did like, like okay, Alex said, I'm in the mental health. Uh, can you hear me? Okay. Yes. Like, like my brother said, um, I'm in the mental health field. And um, I, I work for two different offices. So um, I'm involved in um, scheduling, billing. Um, so in, in that field alone, I know that um, we, we can do so much on St. Croix, you mm -hmm. know, with as far as mental health, um, we can do a lot in not only St. Croix, but in the Virgin Islands itself, mm -hmm. you know, um, and, and we've, we've spoken about this as well, me and my, my brother, Alex. So um, I do, you know, come across a lot of different people with a lot of different problems. Um, but, you know, what, what brings or gives me, you know, that, that type of, of, of just like, you know, I love my job is mm -hmm. just being able to help, you know, being able to, to uh, give people ease, you know, at the end of the day. Mm -hmm. um, yes, I can definitely, you know, set you up with this counselor or this counselor is able to, you know, help you out in whatever you need. Um, and I and I think that's important. I, I spoke to Alex about, you know, you know, meshing that in with dance as well, because you never know what these young people go through you I'm know about, and yeah. sometimes they need somebody to talk to uh, yeah and and just be able to you know express their feelings of, of whatever maybe school wasn't good that day you know and they're not feeling it you know and we we should always have somebody there that they can feel comfortable you know mm. talking to them and 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 just sharing you know whatever it is on their mind so yeah Alex, when, when you were when you were in um in, in Castle Cookley there, did did you did you have to do any of that um per se to anybody? Per se. I mean just just be a, a you know just more supportive or more encouraging. Maybe they were struggling and you saw something and you had to um because you know there was always just a bunch of just a bunch of you know up and coming uh superstars there. Yes, absolutely. You know, like I've always been that that foundational support for a lot a lot of you know the youth that's out there the ones you know that I do work with uh, I have a gift with words I, I should say um, I'm very expressive I, I love to listen I just like to get into you know the thought process of what people um, think about that makes them react to certain situations okay and that is something that I feel that is very important not just for the dance aspect, you know, for the expressive um, creative movement side, but also to know about the mental state of a person. And, and mm. that's where it comes, you know, it ties hand in hand with what, you know, like the president of the of our board of directors does. Um, Aquanet has had experience with that, including with um, Kanuma Simmons. Okay. Is the, my girlfriend's closet, she has, um, so many different things that, that she does. And right now, I, I actually, she's working on her doctorate to tell you how amazing this young lady is. So she deals with a lot of mental health um, advocacy and counseling, which is so important, especially with what we're going through right now with um, COVID and mm -hmm. the pandemic. Um, not just a simple fact that we can release all the stress through movement, but still have that listen in where someone can express what they're feeling, what they're going through, and just pick them up um, give them a little bit more positivity to, you know, reach the next day. Okay. So I want to ask Elizabeth of this list of uh, many job titles here, how many do you have? 
<laughs> oh my goodness. This is a lot on Where here. Where do I begin? Okay. It's a it's it's almost it's almost as long as Alex's, but it's not it's not that that much. Not that much. Okay. Okay. No, no. Okay, so so I could continuing on with you a little bit. So how many how many of these jobs do you have? Job titles do you have? Uh, definitely not as much as as Alex and Elizabeth for sure. Okay. Um, my my <laughs> my major job role right now is that I have two kids. Um, I have a three year old and a three month old. So it's been um an interesting roller coaster. Uh, being a part of this uh about of the board of directors. Um, just juggling being a mom working um you know dealing with Alex <laughs> on a whole just making sure that everything is done um you know accurately and making sure that we're out there and we're we're beginning to show the community that we're coming back we're going to be bigger we're going to be better we want to be there to support the, the kids and it's not just like like both Alex and Elizabeth said it's not just about whether you can or can't dance it's about having an outlet to do something that you love, something that you enjoy. I personally have three left feet. I keep telling Alex, he has to teach me how to dance, you know? So I'll be looking in on the classes too, trying to get, you know, a tip or two, but you know, it's, it's about self-esteem as well. And, and, you know, a sisterhood and bonding with each other, bonding with others that, you know, may, may need an outlet to do something other than what, you know, my mom or my dad is telling me to do something that I love, mm -hmm. something that I'm interested in, whether or not you can or can't do it. The fact that you're here and you're willing to learn is, is, is what's important. I got you. And being able to, you know, have that outlet to, to, you know, if you're having a bad day, you look forward, okay, well, I have dance class today, Tuesday. So I don't care what happened in school. I'm looking forward to, to dancing and I'm looking forward to taking tap or ballet or, you know, as an adult, you know, if we do the, the the heels classes that Alex is teaching, you know, so even as adults, you can come out and there's an outlet for you to, you know, just kind of let go, let loose and not have to worry about the stresses of, you know, your job or at home. It's just, a you know, even if it's an hour mm -hmm. to just focus on something else and, and get your mind onto something that's more relaxing and enjoyable. Yeah, yeah, I can understand that for sure. Um, so Alex, so what, 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 what events do you have coming up? Cause I know you mentioned that you're going to be here sh shortly. Um, and I guess things are going to just probably kick off even more. Um, but what, what events do you have, uh, you know, that you're, you get ready to have and that you want the public to know about? So we had, um, two different events. Uh, the first one, cause I'm doing a series of master classes. Okay. Um, I'll be back on the 13th of December and I'll be there just shortly, just really briefly. Um, because of course, you know, I have like some business things to deal with with the board and also you know for the perspective space of where we're going to be in St. Croix you know hoping that everything you know, with the pandemic in order for us to officially open in late like, the summer of next year um, but we do have of course you know two master classes on December 15th which is going to be a Tuesday and we did talk about auditions a, a lot of interest or interested participants have wanted to be there more in person versus us doing it virtually because we did get submissions, um, you know, virtually online to look at their, you know, dance skills and so forth. But I will be there uh, on the 15th. There's two classes, master classes, and that's really just to see how you move um, well with the other dancers, as well as taking the specific instruction from me at that moment. Um, there is a first one that's gonna be at the Beeson Hill Health and Wellness cardio room. It's going to be from 6.30, I'm sorry, 5.30, that's the first one, 5.30 to 6.30 on the 16th, which is a Tuesday. Um, we are going to take a 15-minute break in between to just, of course, do sanitizing within the, um, you know, the space. It mm -hmm. is required to have a mask. Um, if you do not have a mask, you cannot participate. We're not, that's, as a company, we do not play with the COVID-19 um, you know, pandemic. It, it is imperative that you have a mask and we do practice, of course, all sanitize, um, sanitizing procedures and measures. So we do take 50 minutes to sanitize everything. Then the next class starts um, at approximately 6.30, I'm not sorry, 6.45 mm -hmm. to 7.45. 
So the first one is from 5.30 to 6.30. We take a 15 minute break in between. Then we start the second one from 6.45 to 7.45. And the second one is open to the ages from 18 and up that will be auditioning for Susan Ann's company. If you're interested in you know, getting any type of national or international traveling opportunities, that would be the company that you would um, you know, audition okay. for. Okay. And then the other one before that is the Cousinance Movement, which is brand new. Um, that's a junior company to Cousinance Company. You have to be within the ages from 10 to 17 in order to jo join that one. And okay. then that's the Tuesday. The Wednesday, I've been having a lot of um, influx of, of suggestions and inquiries and requests, you know, from older ladies that they wanted to do something a little bit more to their age group. Okay. So that I introduced back in 2010. It's called Strictly Stilettos. It's where I teach women, you know, literally to move and dance in, in high heels. Okay. And so that is something that de deals with their posture, um, with their confidence of being able to walk correctly, but not only that, being able to dance. And one thing that I'm excited about is I've worked with Nikki Brooks, um, who is very legendary and I can look into the iron and we're going to be doing a specific song from one of her, um, you know, soundtracks. It's not yeah. the one that I just did the video for, but she has this song that is that it, it makes me want to get up and move so we're going to get up and move. okay i love nikki brooks <laughs> <laughs> what's not to love about nikki i love nikki brooks <laughs> uh, that sounds good so this is at this is at the beast in hell gym did i did i yeah. get that okay yes okay yes. okay so this, this event is uh on the beast in hell gym and you're coming down and i guess you mentioned that you're going to be looking so um I guess the next time you come down, I guess the intent is probably to be in your facility, your own facility, correct? Absolutely. So we're just giving them just like a little tease of, you know, like what we're going to be offering and you get to, you know, take class with a master. So for those two classes on the 15th, which is a Tuesday, in order for you to participate, you know, you can go on our website at cruisingdancecenter.org. You can fill out the registration form. It is $20 um, to take that specific master class and you must wear a mask. Um, for the Strictly Stilettos, that's open. Um, and I only have a couple more spots for the Strictly Stilettos class for women. So if you're from the ages of 17 and up, you want to be able to let loose. You know, we didn't have, we didn't have carnival. We didn't have jewelry. We didn't have none of that. I am telling you, you're going to come and walk up in some heels. This is going to be the class for you to do it. And you can um, register online as well. And that class is only $15 for that master class. And the music is by I Love Nikki Brooks, right? That is by exclusively by Nikki Brooks. I'm not going to tell everybody which song I'm doing, but trust me, it's going to make you okay. Want to move. Absolutely. Yeah, I got you. Okay, man. This this, this it sounds good, man. I, you know, I just I wish you uh, nothing but success, man. And uh, anything that you've done before has the turnout been good? I mean, are, are people you know sort of Alex is back, and you know, let, let's flock to Alex and any 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 good any good vibes from from past I events. I, I can tell you this much, I, and even um, Aquanet can tell you on this. So we started the whole platform. You know, we do have a website. Um, we do have our social media platforms on Facebook, on Instagram, on Twitter, on, on YouTube, where anyone can follow. Me. But the immense following and, and the support is just unbelievable. So once we did, you know, start our Facebook page, I think it was in September, um, Aquanet's, we opened it up to the public. Um, we jumped up within that month. By the time we closed the month of September, mm -hmm. we had a thousand followers and likes already. Okay. Uh -huh. The following month in uh, um, in October, we jumped up again and then we surpassed a thousand and it came up to I think over two thousand likes and followers. Yes. For like. So every month we've been like generating just about, you know, like uh, a thousand followers. And so right now we're a little bit over 2,600. We're about to reach about 2,700 okay. at this moment. It, it's climbing. Hopefully by the time that we open up our doors, we should have a good heavyweight and voice mm -hmm. in the Virgin Islands that at least, you know, over 10,000 followers. That's our um, aim and goal. Okay. And then, uh, so what, what's, uh, after you go and come back, so, I mean, what can you share what, what may be happening going into uh, early 20, 2021? Yes. 
So once we um, establish everything that we're doing, the master classes for this month, um, of course, I will be departing back to Houston because I am, you know, back and forth, just making sure that everything is a little bit more control with the pandemic. We are um, raising funds um, and we are, you know, stressing and expressing that to the community that we want to be able to bring this to the Virgin Islands community. And in order for it to happen a lot faster, we definitely need their support because I, we have written grants. Um, before I'm a grant, I'm a professional grant writer. Um, we did receive a grant from the Virgin Islands Council on the Arts, and we did apply from other grants. So you know, at, with a grant process, that does take time for, uh, you know, for it to be approved and then for finances to, to be cut. So in order for us to expedite the process a little bit more, we are encouraging anyone out there that's, you know, watching this live right now. Um, we, we accept anything that you want, whether whether you donate. Ten dollars, whether you donate twenty, whether you donate a little bit more, on our website, if you go to kujinancenter.org forward slash Society of Contributors, it will give you the breakdown of when you do donate. You not only just donate towards the organization, you help the mission to push this forward for the youth and the territory, but we also give perks and um, benefits for donating towards the building fund. One thing that I definitely want to um, express and also to everyone that we are a 501c3 nonprofit organization as recognized by the internal revenue code. So anything that you do donate towards the organization, it is tax deductible. And we do send out all of those donation receipts and the welcome pack and all that good stuff. You okay. just have to, uh, you know, just join in on the fund for what's coming now and what will be revealed in 2021. 2021. Okay, perfect, man. Um, Aquinette, any, any, any final thoughts? No, just, you know, so far to just uh, to tell the community how grateful we are so far for the support that we've received. Um, you know, we look forward to the additional support as it comes. As Alex just mentioned, we are in process of raising funds for our building. Um, so, you know, whatever you can give, you know, whether it's five, 10, 15 dollars, um, any little bit counts, you know, it adds up like the old people that say one, one does fill basket. Mm -hmm. So, you know, whatever you have that can assist with us, um, getting this on this, this dance company back on its feet, so to speak, um, to just help the community. It's not just about us, you know, it's about the youth and, you know, giving them an outlet to, to be able to showcase the talents that they have. We have a lot of talented people here in the territory that go unknown because there's no, there's no platform for them to share it. And so this is an opportunity for us to get them together and, you know, just showcase all the natural talent that we do have here in the territory. Okay. Elizabeth, any, any final thoughts? Oh, I'm, I'm with Aquanet on that. I think it's, it's, it's more than dance. And I always tell Alex this, that, you know, I, I think is, you know, to be able to have the use have somewhere to be, you know, just so they could let loose. They could, mm. you know, to show their talents and, and just be in a comfortable space. I know St. Croix doesn't have that right now. Mm. Desperately needs it. Um, and it, it is, it's going to just, it's going to be helpful for everybody all the way around. I yes. Think. Yeah. It's a trying time now. And Alex, <laughs> you have the final word, man. <laughs> <laughs> well, listen, I just want to thank all of the viewers and definitely um, thank you, David, um, for giving Welcome. us the opportunity to join you on, you know, It's Your Perspective talk show because we absolutely love to get the information out there for everyone. You know, we do definitely have a lot of info that's coming and updates. You just have to be able to follow us on our platforms. You can follow us on Facebook, also on Instagram, Twitter and our YouTube videos and definitely check us out on our website at www.cushiondancecenter.org. We are going to be coming out with an app soon that will be available also on the iOS um, you know, platform, platform and the Android platform. So you will have instant access of being able to get all of the upcoming events and updates that anything is related to Cushion Dance. And I just want to thank everybody for their continuous support, their belief, their encouraging words of bringing back Fusion Dance Company to the territory of the Virgin Islands, where we are coming back bigger, bolder, and better than before. All right, man. That sounds like a master plan to me. So I, I want to thank our guests tonight, Alex, uh, Elizabeth, and Aquanet for coming on the show. They represent Fusion Dance Company. Um, Alex is just moving on with his with his platform, his brand, and, and, and making it bigger and better. 
and uh, much success to you in uh, 2021. It's been a trying year in 2020. Um, I guess we just got We just got to keep pushing forward, you know, and yeah. and, and just yeah. got to keep pushing forward and continuing to pray, and um, you know, and uh, the good Lord will make a way for you, man. That's that's how I see it. <clears throat> yes, He will. <laughs> so on that note, I want to say real quick that this is the HR Perspective Talk Show every Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, some Fridays as well. Uh, check us out on our Facebook page, It's Your Perspective Talk Show. Check us out on Twitter. Uh, link us there at VI Perspective. Um, check out our internet radio station, streaming live from the VI.com radio. Uh, search for that on the TuneIn radio app. Got plenty of music. We play the most Virgin Island music every hour. So on that note, guys, thanks for uh, linking up with us on our Zoom tonight. Uh, Alex, like I said, much success to you, man. Just keep working hard. Elizabeth, keep working hard. Aquanet, you do the thank same you. as well. All right, guys, thank be you. Safe. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Peace. All right, good night. Bye. Good night. Bye.